everyone and welcome to my channel. I am the Read Aloud Teacher. Today is a special day for our channel because this is the first day we're going to be featuring chapter books. So all this week we are going to be reading the first chapter book in this series and if it goes well and you guys love it then we'll continue on with the series and we'll start doing more chapter books for our older aged kiddos. This is the first Magic Treehouse book of the series, and it is called Dinosaurs Before Dark by Mary Pope Osborne. As you can see, there are 28 different books in this series, and we are going to try to cover as many as we possibly can. These are excellent books for our third through fifth graders to be able to read on their own. And we are gonna read two chapters today and then two tomorrow and two the next day and the next day until we finish chapter 10, the last chapter. So here we go, Dinosaurs Before Dark. Chapter one, Into the Woods. Help, a monster, said Annie. Yeah, sure, said Jack, a real monster in Frog Creek, Pennsylvania. Run, Jack, said Annie. She ran up the road. Oh, brother, this is what he got for spending time with his seven-year-old sister. Annie loved pretend stuff, but Jack was eight and a half. He liked real things. Watch out, Jack. The monster's coming. Race you. No, thanks, said Jack. Annie raced alone into the woods. Jack looked at the sky. The sun was about to set. Come on, Annie, it's time to go home. But Annie had disappeared. Jack waited. No, Annie. Annie, he shouted. Jack, Jack, come here. Jack groaned. This had better be good, he said. Jack left the road and headed into the woods. The trees were lit with the golden late afternoon light. Come here, called Annie. There she was, standing under a tall oak tree. Look, she said. She was pointing at a rope ladder. The longest rope ladder Jack had ever seen. Wow, he whispered. The ladder went all the way up to the top of the tree. There, at the top was a tree house. It was tucked in between two branches. That must be the highest tree house in the world, said Annie. Who built it? asked Jack. I've never seen it before. I don't know, but I'm going up, said Annie. No, we don't know who it belongs to, said Jack. Just for a tiny minute, said Annie. She started up the ladder. Annie, come back. She kept climbing. Jack sighed. Annie, it's almost dark. We have to go home. Annie disappeared inside the treehouse. Annie! Jack waited a moment. He was about to call again when Annie poked her head out of the top of the treehouse window. Books, she shouted. What? It's filled with books. Oh man, Jack loved books. He pushed his glasses into place. He gripped the sides of the rope ladder and up he went. Chapter two. The monster. Jack crawled through a hole in the treehouse floor. Wow, the treehouse was filled with books. Books everywhere. Very old books with dusty covers. New books with shiny bright covers. Look, you can see far, far away, said Annie as she was peering out the treehouse window. Jack looked out the window with her. Down below were the tops of other trees. In the distance, he saw Frog Creek Library, the elementary school, the park. Annie pointed in the other direction. 
there's our house, she said. Sure enough, there was their white wooden house with the green porch. Next door was their neighbor's black dog, Henry. He looked very tiny. Hi, Henry, shouted Annie. Shh, said Jack, we're not supposed to be up here. He glanced around the treehouse again. I wonder who owns all these books, he said. He noticed bookmarks were sticking out of many of them. I like this one, said Annie. She held up a book with a castle on the cover. He couldn't help himself. He turned to a picture of an ancient flying reptile, a pteranodon. He touched the huge bat-like wings. Wow, whispered Jack. I wish I could see a pteranodon for real. Jack studied the picture of the odd looking creature soaring through the sky. Ah, screamed Annie. What, said Jack. A monster, Annie cried. She pointed to the treehouse window. Stop pretending, Annie, said Jack. No, really, said Annie. Jack looked out the window. A giant creature was gliding above the treetops. He had a long, weird crest on the back of his head, a skinny beak, and huge bat-like wings. It was a real, live pteranodon. The creature curved through the sky. He was coming straight towards the treehouse. He looked like a glider plane. The wind began to blow. The leaves trembled. Suddenly, the creature soared up high into the sky. Jack nearly fell out of the window trying to see it. The wind picked up. It was whistling now. The treehouse started to spin. What's happening, cried Jack. Get down, shouted Annie. She pulled him back from the window. The treehouse was spinning faster and faster. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. He held on to Annie. Then everything was still, absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Sunlight slanted through the window. There was Annie, the books, his backpack. The treehouse was still high up in an oak tree, but it wasn't the same oak tree. That's the end of our two chapters for today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow as we read chapter three and four of the first Magic Tree House book in our series, Dinosaurs Before Dark. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and come back tomorrow to read chapter three and four with me.